go back to the paddock to Trish. Tearing him up at Mohawk Raceway, there's a trainer from that area that I have joining me now. That's trainer Ben Wallace. He has Armbro Terrace in this upcoming Standard Bread. And later on, Blissful Hall in the first elimination division of the jug. And uh, welcome to Delaware, Ben. Uh, thank you very much. Great to be here. I'm sure it is. And especially when you have a one to nine shot coming up in the Standard Bread. This is a lightly started filly. Why'd she uh, get to the races so late? Uh, it was a timing program. Uh, she was aimed for later on in the year, which, which happened. Well, when she made it to the races, she had to step right into the arena against some uh, heavy competition. Yes, yeah, she did, but she'd been trained up good going into that, and uh, she was prepared and she, as, it, as it's showing on her results. Preparation, preparation, preparation. How much preparation goes into getting a young horse to the races? Well, we don't have time. Uh, it, it takes a lot, I mean, uh, to get them here at any age, two or three, and uh, it's a slow program that they're on, and uh, hopefully they end up where, where we are today. Despite the seven post, it, does she deserve to be one to nine here? She reads good. Um, if she doesn't, uh, you know, hurt herself, I think uh, she's as good as they are. That's for sure. One to nine. I don't know if any horses are to be one to nine on a half mile racetrack, specifically a young two year old. That's kind of tough. Okay, on that word, we're going to talk about your horse with the seven post in the first elimination division of the jug, and that would be Blissful Hall. Does he deserve to be one to nine in there from that post? No. That's absolutely not. I think there's, there's there's five horses in that race who are coming off wins, and uh, he being one of them, uh, he, he, he's, he'll he represent himself good, but by no means is he a one to nine horse in that bunch. All right, let's talk about his recent form. He certainly seems sharp. However, it's really a tough task to keep a horse sharp week in and week out. There's the travel, uh, the kind of competition he's been facing. How do you think he is coming to this one? Is he coming into it in peak form? Yes, and he, he had a great week going into this race. Uh, he raced superbly his last start. He was he was spectacular his last race at uh, the Mohawk in the Simcoe. He came out of it good. He trucked down good, and he, we worked him a little bit down here, and he seems fine. Uh, he's been that way all summer. He's just been a good colt. All right, he was the winner of the Cane Pace, which is always exciting, uh, part of the Triple Crown, of course. And today is the second leg. When you came down here today, I know you thought you had a real strong shot of uh, being there and now you're here and are you already starting to think can I get the second jewel can I get the second jewel oh sure I mean I think that uh, we, we thought of that as soon as we won the cane that we, we were in scoring position uh, but this race here of all the races it takes so much good fortune uh, as far as racing luck goes uh, the, a half mile racetrack is the greatest thing to get a good horse beat and uh, you know we're, we're in that position right now so we need some good fortune too what about his ability to take pressure? It seems that that's one thing that doesn't seem to bother him. He, he was, the cane final was probably as gritty a race as there's been all summer. He took, he, he, two or three horses took runs at him and he was as good as he, at the wire as he was uh, leaving. So I, I think he can now, not only now he's got some speed, or he always had speed, but he's got some endurance now. And uh, that, that coupled with that, it makes him extremely tough. Endurance is much needed for heat racing. Do you anything different to prepare him for that? No, no. We, we've just maintained a si similar program and uh, basically going into it as just another race on the same day. What about the number of days between races? Is there any importance there in keeping him fresh? Absolutely. I, I think uh, you need a week or 10 days uh, for any horse. Uh, and unfortunately, right now the stakes program kind of couples you up a little bit and gets six rate six days in here and six days there which but a, a, to me a horse should get at least 10 days seven you know seven days to 10 days uh, preparation time as a trainer how do you choose the drivers for your horses well that was easy with this one John Campbell uh, uh, opted to take her so you certainly want to make a move there and uh, with Ron Pierce I, I simply wanted somebody who was local at the Meadowlands when we started and Ron took the drive and he's, he's stuck with him all summer all right, there's things that we read about horses that are doing well, of course, but no one knows them better, perhaps, than the trainer or the groom. What could you tell us about Blissful Hall that we haven't read on paper? <laughs> not, not a whole lot. He, it's, it's unfortunate that he doesn't have a quirk or whatever. He's just a real nice racehorse. He's, he's putting together both attributes of both stallions that he's involved with, Cam, Cam Best and Abercrombie. He's got both their best traits, and uh, he takes that to the racetrack with him. And when he's not on the road, where's home base for him? Mohawk Raceway. All right. Does he like it up there in Mohawk? <laughs> His program reads that he does. All right, Ben Wallace. Good luck today. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Let's go back over. Thank you very much, Trish.